This video is fully sponsored by Revapoint. If you're like me, there are really only two reasons why you would watch a review video. One, you have a unique problem that you think only a new tool can solve. And two, you think that this new tool will be effective at solving that problem. Now, I don't have a lot of pressing 3D scanning issues, but I think I've chosen a few things that will help me evaluate whether or not a 3D scanner will be a useful tool in my workshop. And hopefully it is a useful video for you to know if you want to use this device right here, because today we're talking about the Baraco Plus, which is a 3D scanner made by Revopoint. Now I'm gonna scan five different things to evaluate the scanner when it comes to actual functionality. This bust of Caesar that comes in the box, which will act as a baseline. My own little bust of Leonardo da Vinci that has a more fine detail. This portal gun. This CRT, which is much larger and has a glass surface, which should be a challenge. And lastly, my face. So let's get scanning. The scanner comes with this little turntable, which will be useful for the smaller objects. It's got a switch to control the direction, USB-C port for power, and a small knob to adjust the speed. The Morocco Plus has a quarter 20 standard mount, and it comes with a Wii tripod. So I'm gonna set that up too, so we can get scanning. I've got Caesar set up on the turntable, set at maximum speed, and now we can play with the UI. There are more settings hidden in the UI, but the most important in setting up is the histogram, which gives you feedback on whether your object is at the right distance from the sensors. Scanning Caesar went off without a hitch. This is the first scan I've taken of this model, so let's see how that went. Clicking through these first time use pop-ups, we can finally see the point cloud that was captured, which overall looks pretty good. You can see it missed the underside of the eyebrows as I'm shooting at a high angle, which is to be expected. Now, point clouds aren't all that useful, so it helps that it has built-in features to convert that raw data into a more useful mesh. I'm going to hit the one-tap edit, which gave me an estimate that was way off. It said it would take two minutes, but it actually processed in about 18 seconds. There are still holes in the model, but I'll talk more about fixing those later in the video. Let's move on to DaVinci. Leo scanned pretty well, although moving from the point cloud to the mesh with the one-tap edit, we can see that the bulk details are there, but it didn't capture the depth of the grooves in his beard. And for the portal gun, I'm using these retroreflective markers that allow me to create a more detailed scan using the global marker setting. So I'm just going to place a bunch of markers randomly around one face. And then I've got a nice distribution. Now, since the portal gun is symmetric, I'm only placing it on half to get an idea of uh, how accurately this will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that global scan by scanning all of these markers first. And now that I've got all these markers, I can go ahead and set the scan mode to global marker and give that a full scan. Now, obviously there is the in-game mesh for the portal gun. Uh, that I could just import, but if this were just a found object uh, with a complex curved surface, I really wouldn't have any other good way to import that geometry. Now it's still a little rough, but this gives me enough detail that I could go back and create a surface in my CAD software for a much more accurate model. I switched the Morocco Plus over to far mode scanning, since this is a much larger object. I also placed the included far mode mat beneath it and popped on some retroreflective markers onto the face of the CRT. This worked okay. I have a future project where I want to put a smaller custom bezel over the screen, so I'm really only interested in capturing the exact curvature of the tube. I'm going to delete any excess parts of the model later. Although there are some holes near the bezel, this is going to be useful enough for me to get that curve. Now I don't need it to capture all the details of my hair, which it's obviously gonna struggle with because it's jet black. Uh, mostly I'm concerned about getting uh, around my eyes because ultimately I think this would be cool to design custom glasses or a mask for cosplay or something. So let me just go ahead and start this. I'm already at a good range. It's already lost tracking. Instead of continuously scanning like I've done before, I switched over to capture single images. 
so I just tried to stay still and take awkward 3D selfies, which actually worked out well. So now that I've got a creepy digital death mask, what now? While the device does have a surprisingly feature-rich editing ability, touchscreens are the bane of my existence and not practical for detailed work. Thankfully, Revopoint has a free desktop application called Revoscan, which allows you to edit the models. No extra fancy CAD or modeling software required. Let's fix Caesar so he has fewer holes. If I select the Fill Holes tool, I can detect the holes and then fill them. I don't like the awkward shape of his neck hole, so I'm going to trim it by selecting it with the Window Select tool and then just delete it. Now I can fill that as a hole and have a more compact model. Necks are overrated anyway. I saved and exported the models as OBJs, as that's a format I can import into Fusion. Quick note, although both the scanner and Fusion were set to millimeters as default units, I did have to scale my model by a factor of 10 for it to be accurate. Somewhere, something's getting lost in translation, but it's a quick fix. Now, in order to work with Caesar with tools that I'm comfortable with, I'm going to reduce his polygon count so that my computer doesn't explode, and then I'll convert him to a solid in the mesh workspace. Now I can use the combine tool to subtract his head from this little hat shape, and in theory, I have a design that is 3D printable and will conform to his luscious locks. Now that I've got those 3D scans, I can convert them in CAD into objects that I can actually work with and create things that interface with them or just replicate them. In the case of Da Vinci, I just replicated part of his head. Now, I already knew that the detail wasn't gonna be there because I saw the mesh, but Dimensionally, it's what I want it to be. So if I wanted to scan something out in the wild and create a little miniature replica, that would be very helpful. I don't usually do that type of artistic stuff, but if that's something you're interested in, it is a feature. Now, in terms of functional things, I did also create this uh, bezel test to fit over the CRT glass. So let's just see if that matches the curve. And that looks pretty good to me. I didn't sand down the 3D print, but that is accurate enough for my purposes. So now that I know it can capture a simple curve, but that's not too challenging. The next piece I'm actually excited about is this sort of weird visor. Now it's not functional, but it should fit nicely on the bridge of my nose. And actually it is pretty comfortable, you know? Uh, it doesn't enhance my abilities, but it doesn't cause splitting headaches. So eat your heart out, LeVar Burton. Now this opens up a lot of possibilities for me to do cosplay around a 3D model of my own body, which is very exciting. Now, last but not least, uh, the most useful feature of a 3D scanner is this right here. This is a little miniature top hat that I 3D printed for Julius Caesar. Now, do I need a little miniature top hat for my bust of Julius Caesar? No. Do I want one? Also no. But I do think it's really interesting that I can go out and scan something that has an irregular shape that I could never model and uh, create something in CAD that fits uh, very accurately. So that opens up a lot of possibilities that I just never considered because I've never had a 3D scanner and it's never been this easy. Now, in addition to it being easy, it's also a little bit more affordable because if you've watched the video this far, that means you get to use this discount code right here, which will save you $100 off your order. You can use the link in the description and get your own Morocco Plus 3D scanner. And that code will also save you $100 on Revopoint's latest scanner, the Metro X. You can learn more about the Metro X by checking out the link in the description. So thanks again to Revopoint for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you to my supporters on Patreon, especially Adam759. I love you.